Okay. I suppose we have an issue, and that issue is you, young lady. What are you doing? Explain yourself. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Planet Zoo with me, Spacefish, and welcome to the Maple Leaf Wildlife Park, which is currently, uh, experiencing an absolute flood of rain. It is pouring down like crazy, and I think I already observed some people just running through the park, because they were getting absolutely soaked a minute ago. Uh, we finished this off in the last episode, constructing a totally new habitat, you know, actually making use of some parts of this So, uh, in pursuit of our most recent goal of actually having five habitat species in the zoo, and we're going to work on that a bit further today. But um, with that said then, we also have a, a nice little notification out here that one of our American beasts is about to have offspring, so can we maybe observe that even? That would be absolutely interesting and marvellous. But I've also kind of determined that I do want to try a new thing on this channel, which is that in the first minute, I'm going to ask you to, if you enjoy the episode, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and, uh, well, without further ado, let's go and see if we can maybe observe the birth of our newest beast baby right next to a pile of poop um we're gonna see i think is she even still pregnant where did we see that once again i think hmm no offspring imminent okay so she is still pregnant in theory we should be able to observe this i wonder to which extent the game goes there or if it's just literally Oh, that's the sable antelopes that we got in the last episode arriving in the other habitat, but, like, I'm wondering to which extent the, like, baby just kind of plops in and spawns, or... Ooh, yeah, work zone setup, also something we need to work on, or if it's, like... Is that it? No, that that's the other young basin, baby, which is also awesome, but, um... Hmm. I'm kind of afraid of actually going to two times speed here in fear of actually missing it. Uh, but let me maybe place a cut, and when I see something happening, I'll be back with you. Oh, look at that! There we are! She basically just laid down, and then, you know, the new kiddo just spawned into existence, and welcome to Inabar, or Inabar? I'm not quite sure. Our newest addition to the zoo, a little male puppy that is now running after its feeder ball. Having a bit of fun indeed. Absolutely marvellous. Welcome, buddy, to the zoo. Uh, but with that said then, as I just kind of previously said, first things first, maybe let's go and pause the game, because we do, of course, have some issues here still. A major one being that we don't have the new work zone for this stuff set up just yet, so we will have to check that off of the list. Uh, but the antelopes have arrived then in their new habitat, which uh, means that we are one step closer to our silver objective out here. And one of them is absolutely taking a mega bath right there. Holy moly. Can they technically just like swim around the edges here? I really don't hope so. Uh, <laughs> we'll see about that, I suppose. But, you know, taking a bath out there. Now, um, that means, though, let's actually first things first, I think, take care of the work zones. And we can look uh, at other things. Because, of course, we need like a way to feed them, a way to give them some food enrichment and... You know, actually take care of all the plants they want and everything, which apparently we've already nicely covered. They absolutely just want grass or what? That's, uh, interesting, most certainly. But yeah, so, work zones then. Let's go to the zoo. We've got the staff right here. Where were the work zones at? That, that is the important point here. Okay, so we've got two work zones. Um, If we go and edit them, we can maybe quickly analyze where they are at. In this work zone, in another, okay, so we've got this work zone up here, which is a rather big one, we've got that one down there. I think we'll basically just make a totally new one for this habitat out here, given that we've got all the new keeper huts and everything. Uh, so let's go and hit the plus sign, and then we'll go and, uh... Yeah, what? Um, no, no, no. What, what just, what did we just do? 
Do we just add this? No, we don't want that. I wanted a new work zone. Why is there now work zone 3 and... Ah, I'm confused. Okay, how do we remove things? That's clear. No! Wait, 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 wait. Um, control Z? Oh my god, dude. I just absolutely murdered that system. I, uh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's, uh, re-attempt that. So we will, first things first, make sure that all these buildings out here are part of that work zone again, you know. I would very much like that to actually work the way that we want it to work and not have everything explode on me. I'm not sure what this thing here is, because I thought that I would start an entire new work zone like that, but, um... Despite that being named Work Zone 3, then it still seems to be inside the old Work Zone, so... Really a bit confused by that system, I'll have to say, but... Then again, I can't... No, I can add the Work Zone in here, so I suppose that we're gonna do that. Unassigned staff. Why are these people all unassigned now? Oh, because we do have a set amount of them assigned, and... Okay, maybe we will... Hmm... I think I kept, like, the vets and stuff unassigned, because... I was thinking, you know, if they just go back and forth, that's fine, and especially with, like, the research they're doing, maybe we will have to do things a bit more strictly separated here. By the way, we've only got 12k. Are we a bit poor, currently? Sort of worried about that, not gonna lie. But let's go and set up a third work zone for a start. The work zone will, of course, kind of entail all of this. And all of that, and that's kind of going to be that zone. Then we will have to go and actually figure out how to assign employees to that. So, or not how to assign, but wait, that did not save, did it? Hmm. Okay. Let's try that again. I've got that all added. Um. <laughs> Also, why is this now called Work Zone 4 when... I'm utterly confused about that part, but okay. I mean, we've got this added now, right? Is this done? Can I just close it, or does that break it again? Okay, this time around it worked. Maybe I hit, like, the escape button or something accidentally the last time. So what we'll definitely need is one mechanic and one keeper. I think that should overall cover us for the zone for the most part. We could probably go and assign these caretakers to separate zones as well. I mean, it's kind of a bit of a difficult one, because, like, the primary work zone has got all the shops in them that we currently have, but I suppose that we're going to expand out the shop network here anyways, eventually, so... Hmm. Anyways, what we will have to do is we'll have to hire one mechanic, one keeper, and I think we'll hire one caretaker as well. So let's do that. Caretaker. Boop. Then. Keeper. And. Mechanic. Cool. So all these three people then, which we have got no clue, of course, who they are. I guess the ones with no work zone. We're going to have to sign to this work zone. So three. I think the vets will keep separate for the time being due to the fact that, like... Um, I guess we're going to probably alter them more or less accidentally on who does the research and who actually takes care of the animals, but one way or another, you know, uh, they won't be around all the time. So if I assign one to one work zone, one to the other work zone, one of them's researching that work zone, it's going to have absolutely no one taking care of it. So I don't like it. We don't have enough for all the work zones currently anyway, so we're going to keep it at that. Um, mechanics, you know, we've already got nicely split, so we will uh, continue like that. Security guards, we've got a whole one of them. I'm uh, not really improved on that at all in the last bit of time, so, eh, you know. We'll also, I, I think we really have to look at the finances in a second. We're at 12k, I think we started at like 50 or something, if I recall correctly. So we may be in a pretty precarious situation. Could also just be that I'm, you know, investing in the expansion of the zoo so much and just leaving so little time for making money that with this slowed down, but I'm actually not too convinced that is actually the case. I'm kind of more you know, worrying that uh, we are in actually a bit of a precarious situation. So let's see about that. Caretakers. Now these are all not assigned, but we will go and do that. No, not like that. We'll go and do it like that and that way, you know, we've got all of them covered. Hopefully, that is going to somewhat help us 
determine responsibility spaces. Now, the thing that I'm not too sure about with caretakers, right, is that in theory, you kind of select, you know, habitats, you select buildings as part of work areas, but you don't really select a set area for the caretakers to clean, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm kind of worried if this selection really works, if we will have unclean parts uh, of the park in the end or something. Um, it's something that I'm not too sure about and that I hope that it somehow works, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, vendors, of course, all, you know, all not assigned currently, which I think is totally fine, honestly. I mean, they can surely kind of spread out across the different things themselves for now. And as I said, I mean, we've got this set of shops down here. I think that's pretty much everything that we have for shops just yet, which may quite honestly be part of the reason why we're having financial issues. But let's go and quickly go and check finance. Oh my god. God. Okay, finance management. Purchases this year, 29,000 bucks. Ongoing expenses, 23,000 bucks. My income is lower than my ongoing expenses, and then I have the purchases on top. Are you insane and out of your mind? Ticket sales, 2.3k. Shop income, 6k. Donations, 15. Okay, so we're doing quite good, I would argue, on the donation side of things. I mean, we spam most of our habitats <laughs> with donation boxes, so I suppose that's somewhat expected. Um, the zoo entrance tickets, I have to say, feel quite low in relation. So maybe we should actually consider raising the prices? I'm not sure. Zoo tickets are underpriced. Okay. So I think what we will do is actually raise these prices to like nine bucks. And hopefully, hopefully that's going to make things a bit better. Not sure how the opening hours actually affect the income of the zoo. I mean, if I would have the opening hours at like uh, very late or early in the day, would visitors even come or does it not really affect me? I'm unsure. We'll keep it at this now, nine bucks. Hopefully that's going to be manageable for visitors and that's going to get our profitability up a bit because 29 grand in per... like, wow. 19 grand for scenery? What sort of scenery have I even built? These habitats are mostly like bare bones. I mean, sure, you know, some basic items for the animals and stuff and a few trees, but it's not like I've... Wow. I mean, that's quite insane, I'll have to say. Whew. Okay. But uh, hopefully that's going to help for finances for the time being. I think there may come a phase where we could just have to pull back a bit on this kind of stuff for a minute and uh, try and focus on making some money. You know, I mean, we could also do some like marketing or something. I suppose we don't have particularly many guests in the zoo either. And through this new habitat with more species, our income could go up considerably. So we'll have to see how it actually plays out when we've got this habitat done, when the rain's kind of gone and the weather is better and more people come in, because I'm pretty sure that rain also affects people. And look at these guys nicely floating away that we just hired. The floaty squad. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um away but yeah uh so the floaty squad chilling out here all just popping in my new workers hopefully that's not connect uh impact my how do staff that that's maybe something interesting how does staff cost impact me 12.3 okay wow animal food is less than that habitat repair is cheap as heck Power costs 800 bucks, also quite cheap, facility running scenery. So, my staff wages, I mean, which I guess is somewhat to be expected, make up quite the significant portion of this. I'm not sure if I'm maybe overspending on staff, or if that's just the way that things work in Planet Zoo. Please let me know if you have got a bit of a clue down below, that would of course be very much appreciated. Um, I'm wondering if we really need four mechanics. I have to say, but then again, you know, the area that the park covers has become quite large, so they have to kind of go back and forth quite a significant bit, and I really am slightly traumatized by the last time uh, the beast just kind of running out. Um, one alert out here. 
What alerts do we have then? I'm not sure. Hmm. We need more feeders for this habitat, given that we've gotten more animals, apparently. So that's also something to keep in mind. 69% barriers. Yeah. You know, somebody look at that, please. And 75. We're gonna... Nope. There's a mechanic assigned to that already. And, uh... 92. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's brand new, basically. That's basically brand new. The antelopes have been in there for, like, two seconds. We're at 92%. Have they been headbutting that all day long or something? Like... It's actually kind of insane. Anyways, so that's all set up. Let's go and check out the antelopes and see what they need. We will have to spend some money on this, unfortunately. Uh, but we can't, you know, just have them in there and uh, starve to death or something, of course. So we will need to take care of that. Um, terrain, 71%. Hard shelter is something that they're missing, uh, most certainly. So let's maybe go... And take care of that thing first. We'll go and give them maybe like a wooden basic shelter. Maybe something more like this. Maybe. I don't know. Something around there maybe. We can give them a bit of bedding of course. Which we will spread all over the place out there. Could even make it large. So we don't, don't spend quite as much money on that you know. Boop. And... The boop. And the boop. Okay, cool. So that's a bit of shelter for them. That should be making them happy, I hope, if we hit play. 68% only, actually. Maybe we just need to extend that out a bit, then. Which one did we use? Was it this one? Oh, come on. Are you for real? Can I just... Hmm... No, I can't. Oh, can I just add this like that? No. How do I turn this off now? I did certainly not just have the angle snap on. So that's kind of very annoying. Ah, uh, I, I hate that the whole control tips thing from Planet Coaster has gotten real. That was always super, super handy to know. Because, of course, you don't play these games every single day of the week. So, you do always kind of have to look back uh, of what the control for what exactly was. So, I don't know. Really missing those tool tips. I, I really have to say. But let's quickly uh, check this out here. I have to press spacebar apparently, and then we're just gonna go and grab another one of these and go and uh, no, not do that. Gonna go and actually click that away and just reset the horizontal position, uh, the vertical position rather there for a second. And then we can maybe just merge that in. Cool. Nicely merged in, I would say. We're going to go and, of course, provide some bedding for them to just spread a nice bit of hay all over the place out here. And then they can chill in their new shelter. Okay, so that should very much cover them for this part. That's already another 600 bucks spent just on that, which I do want to, like, kind of, you know, mesh that into the foliage a bit better eventually or something. Um, looking at this then, we will have to filter for the species. So that is a sable antelope. That one right there. And we will have food enrichment toy. Okay, so we at least do have both, which is a good thing. We're going to place the food um, balls up front here so you know the visitors can actually have some fun watching the animals and potentially would also be good to actually bring this kind of stuff up to see how much that impacts them um, food enrichment is maxed which is beautiful we will need some toys so I'll give them a few grab balls and uh, maybe a herb scent marker and that gets it to 100 beautiful interspecies bonus we don't have any currently but that is surely going to change now the hard shelter actually decreased after I got more... Stop fighting. Nah. But the hard shelter actually decreased when I put another hard shelter up. 
That makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much, game. That is always very helpful. I do not understand that. I mean, this thing is... These things are absolutely massive. I've got, like, four antelopes in here. That should very much suffice. Uh, I'm not going to work on that anymore for the time being. They'll have to make do with that. I don't have the money to get even more up. I mean, that, they were just very happy a second ago. Uh, we do need to also... Uh... What just happened there? Did one of them get injured or something? Why well, you just take them away like that? Oh yeah! Oh no, one of them got injured and in fighting. That sucks to hear. But yeah, so the vet taking care of the injured animal then. Uh, dangerous animal has escaped. Are you out of your- Oh my god! Dude! You're absolutely nearly offshore! Like, what in the world are you doing out there? I've got- I think we've got a... Seaborn antelope here, like, what? Oh my god! He, she, it is literally all the way out there. Animal has escaped, now all my visitors run again. You've got to be joking sometimes with it, like... I mean, which sane antelope would literally go and cross the river like that? That is just insane, I mean, like... Oh, what do you do out there? Jesus Christ, okay. I think we will have to go and change this stuff a bit. Um, yes, 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 we know, we know. This is all, there is a big issue and everything is exploding. I want to add barriers, please. How do I do that once more? We will do that like this. We'll literally just build a barrier around that antelope. And we'll literally apparently have this sort of uh, fence all the way around. Then, we will actually need to get rid of this. And we will close that off right there, and we'll get rid of that random barrier. That we had kind of thought would absolutely 100% totally fine work, because uh, who in the world has ever heard of seaborn antelopes? But, well, you know, apparently she can just go swimming in the Atlantic Ocean or something. Like, wow, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's that taken care of, I guess. Hopefully the alarm's going to turn off and people are going to stop running away. Seems to be the case. No. Still, you know, panicking a bit. Why not? Dangerous animal has escaped, except for it does hasn't. There we go. Okay. Now, the one thing I was going to say that we still need is actually, like, proper um, food bowls and, you know, water pipes and all that stuff. Or maybe just a water trough, you know, so we can put that up here. Have the visitors watch the antelopes kind of just eat away. You know, we'll place like a few uh, food troughs, and we'll have another water trough out here. And that way they get nicely spread out around the barriers a bit, and visitors can watch them and everything, and that's going to hopefully be very fine. Cool. Um, animal welfare has attracted protesters. I don't see any. Why are the froggies unhappy? Social group, zero. Size too large. What, does he want to be on his own? You've got to be absolutely kidding! That's a very, uh... Okay. Who knows? You know, maybe he's just a uh, very antisocial froggy and doesn't like people around him. Could be the case. I don't know. Um, weird one. One thing that we also, by the way, really have to take care of here is to get some educational content on the boards. And for the time being, we'll literally just make it Sable Antelopes. Uh, I'm sure there's eventually going to be more animals that we have more educational content about, and then we're going to kind of spread it between the screens, probably. But for the time being, it's going to be all about our sable antelopes. We're going to go and get that all onto the speakers, too. And uh, then we're probably going to switch like half the screens and half the speakers to the second kind of animal that we get. Which I suppose we are going to be ready for rather soon. You know, we've gotten taken care of. Uh, all the basic needs of the animals, and this here, by the way, being absolutely not needed anymore. We can probably just go and sell that, to be fair. Let's go and get rid of that one, too. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why is there an ant- Oh my god, why is there an antelope on the other side of the friggin' wall? The barrier height that I needed was 125. Did you just jump across that anyways, or...? And why is it always the females just escaping on me? 
I'm so confused. I am so like... I don't even know what's going on. Like this barrier height should be 1 meter and 25. It's 131. We've got a recommended barrier height of 125. How did the antelope just get out? Like you literally... It's not like you can just walk out. It's like closed off everywhere. There's no space for it to go out. I am so confused. Even this, 131 above the waterline. Where did my antelope just leave? Okay. I suppose we have an issue. And that issue is you, young lady. What are you doing? Explain yourself. This is not like... Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on in this... I, like, I, I feel like I'm in a mental health asylum at this point. Everything's just going out of whack every two seconds. And we're at 8.8k, by the way. We're absolutely low on money. Um, so yeah, park is going great. But with that said then, I think we've at least kind of provided everything for the antelopes that um, we needed to provide. And they evidently are very happy about that, given that they're already trying to escape their uh, absolutely terrible life with us. But uh, we're going to have to end it off right here. I'm going to have to see what we do next episode, because we're really, really running low on money now. We're missing 3k compared to the start of the episode. We didn't really even do much. So... We'll have to kind of see what to do. We'll have to consolidate our income streams and kind of try and make a bit more money to compensate for our high employee wages. Maybe we'll even have to let one or two go. I hope not. But we'll have to see how to solve our finances in the next episode then. Get some more money before we can actually add the second species to this habitat and hopefully check off our silver leveled goals as well before today we're gonna end it off right here i hope you all very much enjoyed the episode as usual if you did please make sure to hit that like button down below that does always help out the channel a ton and if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet also please consider subscribing right down below as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes but with all that out of the way then as usual everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope i will catch you in the next episode very very soon ciao